God bless you, family. King Jesus bless you. So today marks 40 days since our April 8th solar eclipse. So a lot of people were saying before that date, you know, perhaps something big will happen on the eclipse date, which I was hoping. And others were saying, no, since it's this eclipse path is going over many Jonah cities, perhaps it'll be akin to the book of Jonah, the story of Jonah. And it'll be a 40 day period of repentance available uh, to the masses, to America in particular. And, um, you know, and then perhaps then something would happen. Well, here we are. Today is 40 days since then, and the day is not over yet. So could King Jesus rapture believers today? Yes, he certainly could. And uh, that would be the best ever. I wanted to read a little bit from, so from Matthew 12, verse 38, Then some of the scribes and Pharisees told Jesus, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. But he replied to them, An evil and adulterous generation craves a sign, yet no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. Because just as Jonah was in the stomach of the sea creature for three days and three nights, so the Son of Man will be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. The men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment and condemn the people living today, because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. All right, so Jesus referring to Jonah here and uh, these signs. All right, and then, of course, from Jonah chapter 3, the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time. This is kind of crazy. When it came the first time, Jonah, he went the complete opposite way. After the Lord touches you and corrects you when we, when we are disobedient, when we flee what the Lord is asking us to do, the Lord might turn up the heat. <laughs> And for Jonah, he put him in the belly of the great fish for three days, right? So after that, the Lord said a second time, Arise, go unto Nineveh, the great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So he's just repeating himself. He's like, I'm still asking you to do this. So Jonah arose. This time around, he's like, okay, right? We should fear the Lord over anything and everything else. And he went into Nineveh. Okay. He began to enter the city uh, a day's journey, and he cried and said in verse 4, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. Right? So from April 8th, forty days is today, uh, May 18th, 2024. Okay. Verse 5, So the people of Nineveh believed God, and they proclaimed a fast, put on sackcloth, from the greatest of them to the least of them. All right. And the king did the same, pro proclaimed a fast uh, throughout the land. And, um, and God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way. And God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. So it just makes me think, here we are 40 days. Has America repented? Um, no. I mean, there's pockets of repentance and salvation. But as a nation, no, nothing, um, nothing of the sort. <clears throat> All right, so we'll, we'll see how this day plays out, right? Um, we continue to look, and we are going to be those who um, are, are ready and are looking, who, and we won't be <clears throat> surprised. Like that thief coming, it will not come upon you. It'll come upon them who are asleep, who are of the night, drunkenness into worldly things. But Paul makes a distinction, but you are not like them. You are of the day, you are sober, you are looking. It will not come upon you like a thief, but it will come on those who are not looking, not expectant, not caring. All right, guys, I had a rapture dream last night, uh, I guess early morning, early morning actually. And I've never had one before. The Lord doesn't really speak to me in dreams. But I had one on the 40th day since the solar eclipse sign, on a day when many are hoping, can Jesus get us? So in my dream, <clears throat> okay, and here's the other thing. After it kind of, after I woke up from the dream, 
I was considering it, I looked at my clock and it was 251. You add 2 plus 5 plus 1 and that's 8. 8 is the number of, what is it, of new beginnings. So isn't that something? When we are raptured, we are getting a new beginning. When we are converted, Scripture says, Behold, the old is gone, all things are new. When we are taken from this wilderness into the promised land of glory, uh, that will be a new beginning. <clears throat> that was interesting. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe the Lord is communicating always. So when I saw that 251 adds up to an 8, a new beginning, I just took it as that, like, Lord, thank you, cool. Like, okay, so the dream. I was in a house and it was like kind of like a like a rather large square house from what I could tell. Um, <clears throat> very big. Almost like like a like an art institute, boxy and big and cool and high ceilings. And I was there, and I was actually with my niece and nephew when they were very young. Okay, so we're there. And all of a sudden I heard like a distant like basically a horn blast, like a trumpet blast, like scripture tells us at the last trump, at the last trumpet, um, the Lord himself will come and get us and we'll be gone. Okay, so I hear this thing and like right away in my dream, I knew what it was. Like the scripture I just mentioned to those of us who are looking, who are, are longing for his appearing, it's not going to come upon us like a thief. Just think, but to them who are of the night, who are drunk, who don't care, who are unwise, it will come upon like a thief. So when that trumpet blasts, they're going to be like, what is that? For me, in my dream, I knew. Okay, so I grabbed my niece and nephew. And they're little, like I said, and I, I scooped them both up in my arms. And I, all I said was, <clears throat> I said, I said, it's now. It's now. And I held them. And that trumpet blast from a distance all of a sudden was like louder and closer. Almost like when you hear those tornado alarm uh, bells, like they turn around, so you you hear it, it sounds far, and then it turns toward you, it's really loud. It was like that, but like of a trumpet blast, so far away, but it's all encompassing, like you could tell the sound vibrations was just coming, like from the throne of God, like down upon us. And, uh, and that's it, and I woke up and that's all I got. That's all I got. And uh, the interpretation of it, I mean, what? It's the rapture's coming <clears throat> uh, on this date. Amazing, amazing time. And I've never had a rapture dream. It just tells us, I think, like the scripture I mentioned, like to those of us who are, are watching and waiting and desiring, we're going to know. When we hear that blast, we're going to know. We're totally going to be able to distinguish it and be like, this is our time. We're ready. And let us be maybe taking loved ones with us by, not like we can save them, but by what we do daily, it can impact them. So that in a sense, you know, symbolically in this dream that I had, we can take our loved ones with us insofar as we're, we're preaching Jesus, we're preaching the truth. And um, <clears throat> you may have family members that, that aren't even believers, but by what we, what we say, what we share, could that be a seed? Could the Lord water it? And could it be when we go into glory, we, we see people who we didn't think were going, who didn't care when we knew them on earth. But somehow something happened and they, they were able to go at the catching away. So that's my dream. I wanted to share it. Um, let me know what you think. I don't know if any of you guys uh, receive any kind of dreams, but especially rapture dreams. Uh, I would love to hear more about it because it's, it's so exciting and so wonderful. All right, as I wrap up, guys, also, if any of you are getting unsubscribed from my channel, I saw a person in my comments today. She was saying, hey, just so you know, I've been getting unsubscribed from your channel. <clears throat> and she's like, I really love your videos. So I just wanted to let you know. So check from time to time. I did notice within the last week and a half, where I lost like 10 or 15, like more like 15 subscribers. And usually I'm steady growing. Um, when I looked at my like statistics, my Anal analytics, it was showing a bigger decrease than I ever usually have. So anyways, check that from time to time. I know censorship is increasing also, um, just for believers, for people who preach Jesus and preach truth. So from time to time, check that out. I don't want to lose any of you, and I would love to just continue to uh, preach, 
King Jesus to you, fellowship with you guys. So, all right, just wanted to say that piece. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, please, on your way out, quick hit the thumbs up. And I will see you next time. God bless you.